<laughs> Time now for the Missing Words round, which this week yeah. features as its guest publication, The Proper Mustard, the newsletter <laughs> of the National Mustard Museum. You've probably got an old one at the back of the kitchen cupboard. <laughs> and we start with doctors concerned about use of hula hoops to treat what? To treat allergies to wheaty holes. The answer is COVID. I was going to say that, but I wasn't sure it was funny. Doctors are becoming increasingly concerned about miracle COVID cures touted on social media, including eating lots of hula hoops. To be fair, the heavily salted corn starch ring has been proved to be more effective than the protective ring Matt Hancock put around care homes. <laughs> oh. Next, mustard museum creator deems mayonnaise what? Devil's sauce. Yeah. Beelzebub's topping. <laughs> Satan salad cream. <laughs> no, a gateway condiment. <laughs> if you don't start a condiment business with yeah. Beelzebub's topping on, yeah. then you hate money. Well, I've, <laughs> I've got a lorry load of it in Phoenix Day waiting to be delivered. <laughs> <laughs> the piece begins. We often badmouth ketchup, but a reader asks, what about mayonnaise? And I ask, a reader? <laughs> Next, what becomes first what to visit Mustard Museum? Mm -hmm. Horse. A horse becomes the first horse. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not right. The answer is Alan Mustard, ambassador to Turkmenistan. <laughs> Alan Mustard was invited to the Mustard Museum, no doubt because of his name. Let's hope other museums follow suit, as that'll be great news for my mate, Keith Natural History. <laughs> Here is a lot Alan more Mustard. work for Olivia Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. yes. Here is Alan Mustard with a curator. Mr Mustard also brought his wife along. We do have a picture of Mrs Mustard, but we can't show it to you. It's too grainy. Next. <laughs> Next. Sometimes you just...